Five, okay. four, three, two, one. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Crazy KO and welcome to the Aussie Food Taste Test Experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, through gaming, I've been lucky enough to meet some wonderful people from down under, and one of them is Joker, who you will recognize from our Green Hell videos, um, some of the Ark stuff that I've done, and I think some of the Isle stuff as well. But yeah, he sent me this lovely package that arrived at my doorstep in the snow, filled with Australian things for me to try, so that's what we're up to today. Uh, first up, we are going to do the drink route because we had to heat up some milk for this. Oh, it's open. Introduced. Oh yeah, you don't get introduced. You don't exist. <laughs> this is Remby. You guys have heard Remby. And Monty is a telephone today because Monty's not here. So Monty's a telephone. But yes, this is what Remby looks like. You've heard him in my streams. This is Remby in a Santa hat and a bubble oh. shirt. And a bubble shirt. Yeah, there you go. So he's going to be here tasting things with me. And Monty will probably get to taste these things when she arrives in a few days. But yeah, that's what we're up to. So our first thing is Milo. Milo. Milo, which is, according to Joker, multi-ish hot chocolate. So we've heated up some milk, which is probably slightly cold, but that's fine. And then we're gonna add some of this stuff in. You already made yours, because you're, made. you're cheating. Uh, well, That's yeah. okay. And... Mm, three heaping. Three heaping. One, mm, two, two, three. Three. All right, give this a stir. stir. Yeah. It smells kind of... Oh, I can smell that. Soy sausage. Yeah, it smells like soya saucy. But that's probably the multi, because soya sauce is fairly, yeah. fairly that way. Yes, Milo, I'm mixing. Very nice color. Yeah, it looks yeah, like hot chocolate. Yeah, barley, that makes sense. Yeah. It's sort of like beer malt. Yeah. 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 There we are. In there you go, he's made the connection. <laughs> um, yeah, so Joker also sent me, while well, I'm mixing this, he sent me a lovely kangaroo here. It's got a baby roo in its pouch, but you can't see that because the kangaroo crossing sign is in the way. Um, he sent me a mouse pad with crazy Australian critters on it. And he also sent me a boomerang, which we're maybe going to go try out in the snow and see if it likes snow. And your mug. And then, yeah, I'm mixing the Milo in this beautiful Wunabiri mug. <laughs> It has a lovely crocodile on it. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but yeah, crocodile. It's The design is made by an indigenous artist from Australia, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Named Colin Jones. Bun yeah, one beery mug, so yeah, there you go. All right, I think this is mostly mixed. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Happy Milo. <laughs> Happy Milo. That's quite nice. Yeah, it's different. It's different, but it's not like so many times you get hot chocolate mixture and it's so stinking so sweet. sweet. Yeah, this. Is Whereas this is lovely. Yeah, and you still taste the bar. Right? Yeah, you get that nice it's little funny. malty, mm -hmm. but it's not like in your face screaming at you. Yeah. Very that good. is lovely. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, this is just the plain. Plain Milo, but that's that's lovely. Yeah, I like that's that. a good source of protein. Yay, protein! Because <laughs> that's what we want in our our drinking drinks. So there you go, Milo. Very good. Um, I like that. I don't know if I can really show you guys what it looks like. It kind of just looks like brown just stuff. It looks just looks like <laughs> yeah. Pour it on the table for you guys. But yeah, that is nice. It is nice. I like it. That thank is, you, Joker. Yeah, thank you, Joker. This is a good drink. Off to. I wonder if I can order it online. I don't know. Amazon. You have to, you have to snoop. Because that Amazon is nice. Amazon does everything. Amazon like that is, everything. Yeah, I like that it. is a nice drink. It's got a little bit of bitterness to it. Hey, what, Monty? What? Yes. Oh, true. really? Um, but yeah, okay. no, that's wonderful. I like, I like that. I'm just yeah, gonna put it over here good. so I don't dump it. Mm -hmm. And I've got it in my perfect Aussie mug. Oh, that was good. Monty's making noise. Monty's just here listening. Because Monty's not here. All right, so from there, maybe we will start and do like sweet and then move to savory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Let's start with um licorice. licorice. Licorice should be near the end. Oh, licorice near the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Licorice Let's start end. with. The, we'll start on this end. Cadbury. Yeah. So our first victim is 
Cadbury Old Gold Rum and Raisin. Oh. Ew. It says, Old Jamaican Rum and Raisin, generous chunks of rich dark chocolate full of juicy whole raisins, infused with warm hits of rum. Mm. Perfect Christmassy thing. Yeah. Such fancy packaging. I know. The purple and gold. Ew. Peel and reclose. Oh, it's reclosable. Really? No. Okay, that's Yeah, weird. if you do it this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's resealable chocolate. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, it, it smells not... rummy and raisiny. It does. It does, it, it does. does. It has good hints rummy. of rum and raisin. This is a big chocolate bar. It's a good thing it's resealable. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna like Oh, it's already broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> broken already. I'll break it again. Break it again. Break okay. It again. There we go. There we go. Wow. There. That's like Yeah. A third. A third. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate. It is. So there you go. It's got lovely little Cadbury squares, as one would expect. Yeah, that smells nice. Mm -hmm. Rummy raisin. Okay. Yeah, I think that would go good with this. Mm hmm. Yeah. The there you go. I'm Have some. All this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. Ow, I'm okay. making a mess on the table. Oh, is it? Quite... Okay, I'm going to put this bit back. Okay. Woo. Oh, and then Ooh, I'm going to reseal it because it's, it's resealable. Gooey. Gooey oh, stuff. yeah, it is gooey stuff. Cadbury made it's in. Cadbury. Where's it made? Doesn't know. I don't know. store in cool. Probably dry made in in Aussie land. Uh, New Zealand. Ah. It's made in New Zealand. Is it? Yeah, it says no, New made Zealand. in Australia. New Zealand. No, that's just the customer. Oh. Yeah, made in Aussie land. It's Aussie land. Official chocolate. Aussie land chocolate. There we go. My first hit. Okay. So yeah, it's got. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's got like the raisins sticking out of it everywhere so that's cool mm, and it's not sweet again yeah that's nice usually that's nice mm. oh yeah there's the rum yep well because it's dark chocolate is it dark chocolate <gasps> yeah we don't really get cadbury dark chocolate here not really no we most of the stuff we get is, is milk chocolate i like that mm -hmm. and it's not too dark it's cause yeah it's, it's a nice like in between it's not yeah, bitter it's nice so it really supports well, like with that it. rum and... Wow, all these things we have to import. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, that's very nice. It's a nice dark chocolate. You got the nice little gooey raisins. I don't usually like chocolate covered raisins, like the Glossette mm. raisins. No. I don't like they're those. They're too sweet. Because they're too sweet. But this, you get that nice raisiny with the dark chocolate and it works. And the rum. And that bit of, yeah, that little hit of rum. Yeah. So if I eat that... For reasons I can't say, I'm not a big rum fan, but this is good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have with a little shot of Milo. Mmm. Perfect mm. snack. Perfect snack. Wow. We yeah. have invented the perfect Aussie snack. Milo and rum and raisin. <laughs> rum and raisin. Rum and raisin, yeah. There we Ooh, go. That's nice. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. Very good. There you go. Rum and raisin. Alright. Thumbs up. Do you want to stick with the Cadbury theme? Sure. Or do you want to, yeah? Oh. So we've got another giant Cadbury bar. This one is Black Forest Cadbury. Dairy milk milk, <laughs> dairy milk milk chocolate with cherry flavored jellies and biscuit pieces. Yes, this one's also made in Australia. Is it resealable? It is resealable. I like this resealableness because yeah, this is a big chocolate bar. Like you wouldn't just eat this in one go. I mean, you could. If you were really hungry <laughs> or really craving chocolate, but I like that it's resealable. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. If I don't break it. Well, okay. Oh, this is more rum and raisin. Yeah, this is rum and okay, raisin. Okay, we'll just we'll move it to there. the back. Yeah. <laughs> For a little box. <laughs> okay. Let's break some of these. So, there we go. So, we've got. Again, Cadbury Squares, they've got, I can see little it's chunkies. No, it's milk chocolate. Chunkies in the bottom. Oh yeah, dairy milk, milk. Milk, dairy milk, dairy, milk, dairy chocolate. Milk, milk. Okay, break some of these off. There you go. Oh, it's much later. Yep. Yeah. All right. Reseal my, my chocolate so bar. It's, I love it. Pieces of jelly and some biscuit. And some biscuit, yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be a black forest cake. All right. All right, so yeah, you can see the little, Cheers. I don't know if you can see it, jelly nib. What? Cheers. What? Yeah, but well, it, it's like the cake. cake. It's like biscuits instead of cake. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm, I like the crunch. I like the crunch, yeah. Crunch is good. 
Mm, and that jelly is actually really good. Mm, like for a, a jelly, no? I had a nice jelly pit. I might have to have another piece because I don't think I got jelly. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like those jelly nibs. Yeah. But not like the licorice nibs, the little just jelly fruity ones. Mm. I don't know what they're called, but for some reason I'm calling them nibs. But they're, again, it's not, I feel like that's not as sweet as the milk chocolate we get here. Well, I think the biscuit helps. Mm -hmm. But the biscuit, yeah, the biscuit helps. That's not bad. That's not bad. Like for a black forest flavor, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. get the black forest. Mm -hmm. good. But there you go. That's good. Cadbury black, black I think forest. I like the rum and raisin. I think I do. Yeah, just because it's, it's it's a bit darker. If this was dark chocolate. Yeah, that, that, would, that, be that would be awesome. amazing. But That'd it's not awesome. bad for a milk chocolate. No. So there we go. I wonder if they make a dark chocolate version. I don't know. That's All right. Good. Um. Well, Shall we do? Mint. Do you want to get rid of mint? Yes, but then if we're gonna do mint, we have to do our face off. Oh yeah. So that's originally right. we, we were gonna do two face offs in this video because Joker did send me some things that I can get here in Canada, but they're made in Australia, whereas the ones that I get here are made in Canada or made in I think sometimes they're made yes. in the U.S. Yes. Yes. There's a cat going crazy upstairs. <laughs> um, so we've only got one face off for you, and that's gonna be. The face off of the mint arrows. <laughs> I know, thrilling stuff. Um, so you can see the packaging is slightly different. We've got yep. different looks Which to the chocolate looks, bar. Yeah. This one is the Australia, I think. Australia. Yeah. Oh, okay, that. so the one with more green on it. And the bigger chocolate bar is, is Australia. Yeah, look on the on the cover. Forty See? grams. No, 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 no. This. Oh, oh, that. Part. The oh. picture. <laughs> Whereas on the Canadian one, we don't have as much green and just a little chunk showing all the little bubbles inside an arrow. Yeah. So yeah, there okay. you go. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Aussie versus Canadian. See if there's any sort of difference. Okay, you open oh. the Canadian the one. Canadian? Oh. I will open the Aussie one. Right. Made hey, in how Australia. Do they in terms of nutrients. Nutrients? Do we care? Do we care? Um, this doesn't have. I have calories. Does I have, have energy. Calories? Yeah. Okay. Kilojoules. Yeah. Twenty-two eighty kilojoules per hundred grams. Oh, mine's in calories. Yeah. <laughs> so we I can't guess we compare. Don't understand how much? Kilojoules. Yeah, we don't do kilojoules here. We do normal things like calories. Oh. Let's do this. These Let's ones are this. not receivable. No. No. But it says tear here. Is it? He wants me to tear at the corner. Oh, tear I didn't here. say that. No? I think Australians are more courteous with their chocolate, apparently. I guess. All right, here we go. One bubble each. Green. It is green. green. It's, it's yours Sorry. more or less green. I don't know. Hold them up. Oh, here. Now we got to look at them. Uh, Mine is more green. Yours yeah. is paler. Yeah, paler the green. Aussie one is paler green. The yeah. chocolate is also a paler brown. So it I feel is. like they use less coloring in Australia than Maybe. here. Maybe. Okay, so There's... put your Canadian ones. Okay, well we can tell them apart because the color difference is so, yes. so great. Okay, so who's first? Uh, let's do Canada first. Canada first. Canada first. Canada first. It's kind of like eating an after eight. Yeah. Get the nice little bubbles. I do like the bubbles and arrows. Okay, if you take the time to just suck on one. You don't really get it if you just chew it. No. But if you take the time to suck on an, a piece of arrow. Oh yeah. A shot of Milo to clear the system. It actually goes good with the Milo. Yeah, it does the mint. The mint. It goes good. Milo, good with everything. It is. <laughs> it's like the Australian ketchup. <laughs> it's like the Australian ketchup. It goes good with everything. Yeah. What, Monty? Is dad's? Or you mean the Aussie one? Uh, 2,280. Monty's doing math for us. Okay, there's Aussie. Aye. <laughs> How many calories do you have mm. 220 per 41 grams. The mint is different. It is. Mm -hmm. It's more subtler. It's, it's subtler, but it also has a bit more of a bite to it. 
I'm fighting. Like the other one was more of just oh, yeah. like a. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's got a little bit more bite to it, but it's mm-hmm. like it lingers more in the back of my throat than the other one. Yeah. The other one's just kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm a bit of mint. Yeah, it's just this one's like mint, but... very subtle, and then suddenly it's like, ha ha, I am mint, I am and mint. you get that little like burn on your but tongue. Yeah, but it's a nice mint. Yeah, I feel like it's also less sweet. It is, I think so. Tasting. Yeah. And the Canadian okay. one. So. So Aussie Auss- wins. Aussie wins. Aussie wins. Aussie. There we go. Okay. Oh, back up front. No, I'll just put the other one there. Okay. That's the Canadian one. We don't Canadian. want the Canadian yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> Off with you. Yeah. How okay. Well, uh, shall we stay in in Mintland? Because we got some other mints to do. Do we? Oh yeah, we have mint cookies. And... What's this? So our next one is Nestle Peppermint Crisp, and it's a lovely little green thing. There we go, there we go. Gonna make kitten visit, but kitten doesn't want to visit. Doesn't want to visit. All right, this one again is telling me to tear here. It's a peppermint crisp. Peppermint cracknel covered in milk chocolate. I like their descriptions of their chocolate bars. It is cracknel, whatever that means. Put that there. We will find out. Oh, I see. It's like hard sugar. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like a crispy crunch. Yeah. But, But peppermint. Subtle mint. Very subtle. There you go. So, yeah, dark green. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera, but yeah, it's got like this hard dark green. Oh, there you go. If I put it into the light. Hard dark green kind of crystallized in the middle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. That's oh, how much you get. That's how much you get. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, I lost it. No, there's some there. This little bit here with a hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's probably from a cat. <laughs> probably. Okay, oh, there you go. Now you can see it even better. Oh. Green! It's like the Wizard of Oz. Uh-oh. Kitten's gonna go on a tear. Oh, dear. We've got a cat trying to destroy the world. All right, well. Let's... Oh, okay. Here we go. This is a really big piece. Hopefully I like it. It is. It's like a mint cr- crispy crunch. It's got that same kind of... Mm-hmm. That crunchy. crunch to it. It's kind of like a really big chocolate-covered mint. Mm. But the mint is more like a wafer. Yeah. Like a sugary wafer than a mint. But again, not super sweet. No, not super sweet. Mm-mm. I don't know if I would buy the it. The mint so. sticks to your teeth, yeah. Yeah. Maybe at Christmas, but not. Mm-hmm. We, like a good Christmassy thing. Yeah. A little bit more. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, that's kind of fun how crunchy it is. It does stick to your teeth a bit, though, mm-hmm. the, the inner mint. But you kind of get that lingering mintiness. We'll have to wash it down with some milo. Yep. But yeah, that's, again, not bad. And it's got that, just like in the arrow, it's got that a little bit more spicy mint to it, which I like with my chocolate, because it kind of, yeah, it's a like, it sticks mint. with you, yeah. yeah. It's not just that sweet. It's just not, yeah, like... Artificial mint. Yeah. This actually tastes like it's made from some sort of actual thing. Because, yeah, it lingers with you. It kind of, like, does, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Well, Aussies make better mints than can Canadians. <laughs> yep. Okay. Good. Good, good. Is that it for mint? Uh, no. Oh, we no. We got one more mint. The last mint is oh, Arnott's, Arnott's Mint Slices. Oh, and I know we can get Arnott's stuff in Canada. Can we? It. Yeah, I've seen it. In, in maybe the import stores. Just, yeah. Oh, or in the British. Yeah, I think it's maybe in the British import in stores. The British import stores. We can sometimes get Arnott's yeah. stuff. All right. Does this one have a fun description? Oh, Crunchy biscuit, velvety mint cream, and Arnott's real chocolate made from the finest cocoa ingredients and natural milk products, carefully combined to create your perfect indulgence. Wow. Wow. That's a description. <laughs> it is. Made with pure mint oil. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's open this so up. This is a cookie. Yeah, so it's like got a cookie layer, I think. And chocolate. Yeah, it's got a cookie on the bottom, and then the mint cream, and then covered in chocolate. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's go find out. Yeah. All right, so we got our, Anyways. our tray of mint slices. Yep. <laughs> 
one. Pick a mint one. Pick a mint one. Pick a mint one. <laughs> They're all mint ones. They're bubbly. Yeah. Why is bubbly. They're not just fluffs. <laughs> Yours a, has a what? bubble. Oh, I don't know if you, you probably can't see. Yeah, there's a few with the bubbles like that. But yeah, there you go. So, good little sized cookie. Haha. <laughs> Mm. It's very subtle mint in this one. Well, that's because there's so much cookie. Yeah. We really don't get the mint. Like, if you look at the ratio of cream to cookie. Although it's kind of nice as a cookie. Yeah, I really like the cookie. The cookie has really nice flavor. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because you still get that little bit of mint. It's not. Oh, no, there's the little bit of spice to the mint. It's there. It's not as, uh, yeah, like in your face as some of the other minty things. But that's not bad. I don't mind that. No. Well, if you want something that's got a nice like cookie to it with a tiny bit of mint, mm -hmm. that is nice. There we go. Oh. Well, those are all right. Mm -hmm. mm. It's and again, than... the chocolate isn't overly sweet on the outside. Like it's there, I know it's there, but it's not like, ah, sugar. It's nicer than eating an after eat. Mm -hmm. I'd rather eat a cookie. Mm -hmm. Cause the cookie really mellows it out. Mm -hmm. So there we go, Arnott's Mint Slice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, sorry for the rattling, guys. Yeah, our microphone is like right here, so you get all the noise of the packaging. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mint Slice. I like that. Those could be like very it. dangerous. They could, yeah. <laughs> I think they make some caramel ones. And Really glad we have this. Mm hmm. It's a good cleanser. Mm hmm. Okay. It's also just good. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. What's next? That was the mints. Um. No more chocolate. Oh, next we have, up, we let's have do. Some more chocolate bars. Yeah. I guess. So this was gonna be our other face-off is is crunchy bars, because we get crunchy bars here in Canada, but I forgot them, and I didn't feel like. Running <laughs> and getting one, because we live in the it, where I am right now. We're in the country, so then we'd have to go to town, and yeah. it's snowing. Well, it was snowing. Not that it was snowing very much, but you know, excuses. Yeah. It's fine. So yes, yeah, so this because the main the main thing that slightly intrigued me is this one is described as golden hokey pokey honeycomb, thickly coated in Cadbury milk <laughs> chocolate, whereas ours is just sponge toffee. The the description on ours just reads sponge toffee coated in milk chocolate. Yeah. So it was gonna be another fun face off. Hokey, yeah, hokey pokey honeycomb. Hokey. No. I feel like that's something that like Pooh Bear would do. Hokey, hokey pokey honeycomb. Honey yeah. So we were gonna do a face off, but it just gets to now be itself. It's to be a test. Yeah. Now Please it's test. just a test, and it, it kind of died. Oh yeah. Do you want to maybe grab a plate? Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. It 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 got. Oh yeah, we are doing the Vegemite. Later on this taste test, we try Vegemite. Toast. 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 I have to do it. We have to make toast later. Okay. Arr, empty some of this. Oh, it did get rather. Poor chocolate bar. It looks the same. It's less yellow than our sponge yeah. toffee, but they seem to use less coloring. Yeah. In in Aussie stuff. Okay. okay. Oh, it's a twin pack. Never mind. It wasn't broken. There's just two. I mean, it is broken, but yeah, it was broken in the middle. Okay. All right. <laughs> we serve you on a plate. <laughs> The Hokey Pokey Honeycomb! Whee! And I think I just put dust all over the table, but that's fine. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So yeah, it's definitely less yellow than, than, ours, than yeah. our sponge coffee. I also feel like the bubbles are smaller. But it might just be Maybe. I haven't had one in a while. And then, yeah. There you go. Okay. Alright. Well. I don't know what uh, you want to grab. There's uh, I don't know. stuff. Well, I'll just grab some of the honeycomb. Okay. Honeycomb. That tastes the same. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've had a honeycomb or like a whatever. Mm -hmm. but it tastes the same. Yep. How's the I think it's though? it's on par, like sweetness level, wise and stuff. It's maybe got a bit more of a honey flavor to it than ours. 
Like it's got a little bit of something at the end. Chocolate is not sweet. Oh yeah, my chocolate's not as sweet. But yeah, I feel like the sponge toffee, instead of just being fairly just sugar tasting, has a bit of something with it. Yeah, that's the hokey pokey. Yeah, that's the hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. It adds a bit of tang, yeah. a bit of zing. But it's very similar. It's very similar though. Very similar. But yeah, again, the chocolate isn't as sweet, so that really tones the whole thing down. Yep. So I think it still wins. Like if we had the other one here, I think this would win. Um. um did it? Oh. I can't see it in. Yeah, it's down there. Okay. You are making a mess. I am making a mess. There's just chocolate, chocolate bits, bits everywhere. everywhere. All right. So then we have a. Yeah, you can introduce oh, this one. This is a Cadbury. Cadbury. Yep. Cadbury cherry ripe. Cherry ripe. Does Twin it have pack. a description? Luscious cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate. I like that. Yeah. There we go. Aussies know how to describe their chocolate. Yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah. Right. 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 Cherry. There we go. <laughs> All right. Open it up. Open it up. There we go. I would zoom in, but I, I only have one camera set up, so. <laughs> okay. Here it is. It's. It's a twin pack. So it's a twin pack. There's two. There it is. It's got little. I can't see them. It's got little ridges all along the top. Turn it, like angle it just towards the window. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Aha! Aha! I like yeah. that. Okay, just break it in half. Break it in half? If possible. Oh, Ooh, it it's is. It's squishy. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of gooey in the middle. like. Uh... Ooh, that smells nice. Ooh, it smells cherry. Cherry and coconut. So yeah, you can see it's got like this pink gooey. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't either. I, yeah, I was expecting it to be like hard or something, but it's hard a nice or, like or squishy. Kind of caramel -y Yeah. Squish. It's, it's like a, a, a no-bake cookie on the inside yeah. or something. And you can see the bits of cherry. Yeah, and you can see the coconut. And the coconut. And it's not like, I feel like if this was in America, it would be so pink. Yeah. See? I feel like it would be the world's brightest shade of pink. Probably. It'd be like neon pink. It would burn <laughs> your eyes out when you open it. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, well, here we go. Ooh. That is nice. That tastes like someone cherry. made that. Like this tastes like a homemade treat like that a, you would make at like Christmas. A, yeah. Like you would make this bar, coat it in chocolate, mm -hmm. and that would be that. Like that is amazing. Oh, it's I good. can see why you like these, Joker. The cherry is slightly weird. I think, I think the cherry is slightly weird. No, maybe I just mm. It's just different because it's with the coconut, I think. Maybe. But yeah, that is nice. That tastes like a homemade treat mm -hmm. that someone made in their kitchen and brought me. It does not that it's a chocolate bar commercially available in Australia. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nice I think coconut. this one and the rum and raisin so far. Your favorites. Are my favorites. Yeah. Oh. That yeah, is nice. Good. That is very nice. Mm. Very, very nice. Yeah, the coconut really is. Because mm -hmm. like, it's not... Like, the cherry's not in your face cherry, no. which is nice, because sometimes cherries and chocolate bars are just like, wah, yeah. cherry, and then you die. Uh, <laughs> but with the coconut, it yeah. really tones it down. And then the dark chocolate on yeah. the outside, like, it's there. Again, it's super not sweet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is amazing. This would be, like, something that... Yeah, yeah, like a chocolate cherry bar. Yeah, Coconut which Joker sent bar. me um, a cherry ripe bar recipe, so oh. we'll have to try making it. Oh, like... Not not like this, it's different, it's like an actual like square, square kind of thing. Community. Yeah, oh, so yeah, I'll, have to, and I'll, put, I'll put a link to it in the description below if you guys want to try making your own cherry ripe bars. But yeah, no, this is good. It is. I don't mind that. Okay, I'm going to put it down before I eat all of it. <laughs> I mean, I'll have to eat all of it because it's out now. But. Yeah, I guess so. Mmm. Good, mm. good bar. Mm. Good choice. Chocolate. Thank you, Joker. That was a mm -hmm. good one. I mean, they've all been good. So yeah, far. they've all been great. But some of them are better than. The yeah, some of them are more what I'd just go for on. Yeah. Like if I was gonna get a chocolate yeah. bar. Because I usually don't buy mint. Because mint can. Because mint can be really very risky. And yeah. Yeah. And sweet. So that's good. 
But yeah, no. Mm. I think that is that that does a um, chocolate. Nope, bar, we've still it? that's chocolate bars done. Oh, oh no, except for these. Uh, these oh. are these sort of these are sort of like chocolate bars. I don't know. So these are dairy milk caramello koalas. Oh. And we take it out. They're actually shaped like are koalas. They shaped like koalas? Yeah, if you look on the back of the package. Well, oh, yeah. we'll show you when we take them out, but yeah, they're shaped like little koalas. koalas. Milk chocolate with smooth, flowing caramel. Oh, well, now my caramel <laughs> must be flowing. Look at the table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, is there any special instructions for opening this one? No. No, nope, they, so. they've left me to my own devices. Rip them so up. I'm just gonna. Oh, they come individually yeah. packaged. There we go. Ta-da. You get a package. Here, have your little koala. Thank you. There, see? The individual koala yeah. package. Koalas! Okay, let's caramel put them back. Koala. Caramel koala. Wow. Cara no, caramello koala. Caramello koala. Yeah. Can't forget the ello part. Ello. It's Hello. Italian. Caramello. <laughs> Italian koalas. <laughs> There we go, and then they do look, well, this one is squished. <laughs> yeah. So, so they look they like did have to come through the mail. Koalas. Deformed. Mine's deformed a little koalas. cracked, but but I get the koala shape. Like, it's got the rounded yeah. ears, he's yeah. in cute he, little looks overalls. Like he's got boots on, though. Yeah, he's got overalls. Oh, does he? Yeah. My you don't see his overalls. He's got the little. He doesn't have overalls. Well, he's, on got the, a he's wearing a t shirt in there, but oh. in here, you see, he's got the little overalls. CK. What's that? And he's sticking his tongue out What's at us. CK. CK? Yeah. Caramello Koala. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we break him, is the caramel flowing? Woo! Uh, oh, well. So it's not flowing, flowing, flowing like a river, but I don't want it to be flowing like a river because then it would all leave and I wouldn't have any. Chocolate. Yeah, we kind of decapitated our koalas. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. So, let's, go. let's go with this. Mm, the koala had. Well, it's kind of like a caramel bar. Mm-hmm. But again, less sweet. And the caramel's slightly different. The caramel's different, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a more, like, rich caramel, I think. Instead of being just, like, a sugary something. caramel. It's something. It's something. Yeah, it's different. Mm-hmm. It's a little sweeter than the other chocolate bars. Yeah, like definitely. But they're still less sweet than... I feel like they stuff here. Here? Yeah, then the caramel milk. It's been a while again, but... Yeah. 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 Less sweet. Less sweet. That's, yeah. I think, what we're getting in general yeah. from Aussie stuff is less sweet. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. And then we Shot of Milo. Oh, Milo. Milo. I'm almost out. I have to make some more. Okay. So then... I wish I had some amazing facts, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like how long it takes them to make one of these or something? Yeah. You know, like a James May thing. Can I say that name? <laughs> yes, yes, oh, you okay. can say that name. <laughs> so something else that I can get here, but we'll try it, just because I haven't had them in a long time, is Maltesers! Maltesers! Which is described as crisp malt centers covered with smooth milk chocolate. Elegant. Two for me. Yeah, one for one you. One for you, two for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just pick one. Yeah. Oh, I got meat in there. Sorry, this. <laughs> You're ruining the taste test. I am. But yeah, just Maltesers are, are something you can get here. But we'll try them anyways, because... Are they made in Australia? Oh yeah, are they Australian Maltesers? The genuine article? Made in Australia. There we go. So they'll probably be slightly so different again. subtler. Yeah, they'll probably be less sweet. Woo. So, yeah, so if you don't know what a Malteser is, it's a little ball. It's a little ball of chocolate. Yeah. With the it's a multi stuff. Multi stuff in the middle. Crisp. Ta -da. It tastes a lot like the Milo we're drinking. It does. Yeah. It tastes like Milo. Yeah. So it's like you took the Milo and, you put, it... and put it in a cookie mm -hmm. and then coat it in the chocolate. Yeah. Is that what Maltesers taste like? I feel like the ones here are more just biscuity. They're I not I, I haven't had Maltese Maltesers but, in so long. Yeah. But yeah, it's like eating Milo. It's a little more sweet than the Milo. Yeah, the chocolate is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's like edible Milo. Edible Milos. Edible Milos. Ooh, Maltesers. Maltesers. Okay. I think that does it for 
Oh, no, we no, still Tim got the. Tams, Tim we've Tams? got Tim Tams and Jaffas. And Jaffas. Tim Tams or Jaffas? Where should we go? Let's go for Tim, Tim Tams. Now we can get Tim Tams here. I have been informed we can get Tim Tams here, but yes. again, I think it's the same kind of thing, like in an import store. Probably no, it's in superstore. Superstore oh, carries them. Oh. Walmart okay. carries them. Yeah. Apparently, we can get Tim Tams here, but we'll oh, try them anyways can we because do those names Tim are they Tams. copyrighted or something? No, no, you're fine. I'm fine. Okay, fine. I never know. So yes, Joker sent me the giant family pack of Tim Tams. Yes. And these are made with ir irresistible real chocolate. Mm. The originals. Again, made by Arnott's. There is no substitute. Yeah, again, made by Arnott's. Same guys as the multi. The, the, no, the mint slices. Minty slices. The minty slices. Yeah. Okay. There's... I don't think it's resealable. No, it's not resealable. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to... Oh, okay, okay, bye, Monty. Bye, Monty. Okay, I mean, I've yeah. broken in. Ah, uh -huh. they're the Yes, they are the trick. Ah. Bugling. The flavor. Original. 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 That's a real original deal. All right. Whew. Yes, a friend of mine at work put me on the Tim Tams, and they're actually very good. So you get a tray. Tray of Tim Tams. Tim Tams. All right, oh, pick your poison. Well, they are quite thick. So there's thick. like, it's it like looks like there's biscuits two biscuits. With a sandwich in between. Yeah, sandwichy. These are very light colored again. They're not. Yeah, they don't seem to put as much coloring in their chocolate as we do. Like it's not as dark, dark. brown for the yeah. most part. Like the dark chocolate is darker. Yeah, but. But the milk chocolate, they light. don't it's try light. and make the same tone as the dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of nice. Mm. Yeah, Tim Tams are good. I yeah, like Tim Tams. that's nice. So it's two chocolatey cookies. Ooh, I can't reach any further. These With the sweet. chocolate in between. These are sweet again. Yeah, these are a little bit more sweet. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like chocolate arrowroot. But that's mm -hmm. also nice. Like it is sweeter, but it's sweet. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I think because in this one, the cookie's sweeter. Yeah. If it was more like the cookie and the mint slice. Yes. That would that be, would be awesome. very nice. That would be really good. I don't know if maybe you can get like dark chocolate. So hint to Arnott's, make your cookies less sweet. In your Tim Tams. But you might be able to get like a dark chocolate Tim Tam. Yeah. You never know. They do make different kinds. Mm hmm Okay. Put this with my koala. Mm. I really like that Milo. Mm hmm good. good stuff. Okay. okay. Move the Tim Tam. Tim Tam. Is that leaves Jaffa's? Yep. The next? That's the last sweet thing. The last sweet thing is Jaffa's. Jaffa's. And they are? They are. Look best, around. Best before. Uh, <laughs> Jaffa's. Chocolate orange in a crispy shell. Australian made. Mm -hmm. So. Jaffa's. But that doesn't look. Or is that a Jaffa orange? Maybe. On the package, these red things. That's I don't. Know, they're covered in red. Oh. I don't know. Jaffas. Jaffas. Five Jaffas is one serve. Ten. <laughs> Five Jaffas. We shall now measure everything in Jaffas, because that's a great word. Jaffa. I will take five Jaffas ja worth of <laughs> sugar for this recipe. Yeah. Oh, they're little red balls. Yeah, Look at that. yeah. Look, did, see, didn't you get that from no, the packaging? No, I got chocolate. They're little things. red balls. Okay, well, I saw the chocolate. Remy is not <laughs> braining today. I saw the chocolate. Ooh, they smell like orange. The package yeah. smells like orange. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Definitely get some orange. Okay, I'm just gonna put these here. Okay, so they don't roll all over. Yeah, the place. <laughs> so we don't dump them. The cats would like them. The cats would like them, but they're not good for the cats. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's got a hard, crunchy shell. Yep. And then, like, a oh, chocolate milk. Oh, and then you milk. get a big hit of orange. Mm-hmm. Lots of orange. Lots of orange. It's kind of like getting those chocolate oranges. Like kind of, but I don't get break. very much chocolate. No, the chocolate is very subtle. It's definitely more orange. so much candy shell that mm -hmm. you don't get the... Should we do a second one? Sure. Yeah. 
I don't think I can break it. I heard him on the strike button. Yeah, because the, the package shows them bursting with chocolate. But I didn't say they're bursting. Mm -hmm. That's weird, having like the candy well, and the chocolate. I don't think I buy those. There's nothing like those here. No, I, don't think. I have never seen anything like them. That's weird. I, yeah, that's a weird Not thing. my favorite thing, but I'm not really a huge orange fan. Well, I like oranges, but there's too but much those candy, are weird. candy yeah. shell. I don't like the candy shell. Yeah, shells. the candy shell needs to be thinner. So those ones are kind of weird. Yeah. You might like them, a wandering traveler through the living room. <laughs> we'll put them, I think I put them at the bottom. So. Yeah. So far, but I, it's just the flavor. I don't like yeah. the, the flavor. Too much candy shell. Too much candy. Too much candy shell. All right. Milo. Milo. Wash away the orange. Mm. Mm. That is good. That is good. All right. So we're done the I sweet. I would definitely give up hot chocolate. Yeah. To drink. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Very good. Very good. All right. Yeah. So that concludes the sweet tasting portion mm -hmm. of the evening yep. of the evening oh no i said we forgot the licorice oh the licorice ah. we did australian licorice yes joker sent me some raspberry twists okay. raspberry okay twists uh, raspberry daryl lee they, there's no exciting description no they're plant-based and always has been palm oil free yes no artificial colors or flavors and no preservatives Yay. Yay! What makes Daryl Lee so beloved? <laughs> wow. 90 years old. There wow, go. there you go. Old licorice. It's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> the licorice is not. <laughs> the company is not. Yes, I do, I do like yeah. licorice. Yes. I and do. we can get licorice here, but this is fun having like actual well, Australian licorice. licorice is different. Because it's different. It's not And as... every once in a while you can find it here, but it's super, super expensive when you can find it. I so, like yeah. black Aussie licorice. Yeah, because Costco used to get the most amazing black Aussie licorice. It was ridiculously expensive, yeah. but it was like the best treat ever because it was so good. Yeah. And then they stopped carrying it. I don't know if it just it became too expensive for them to bring in. But yeah, Aussie licorice is so hard to find here and it's so good. Mm. It's so Again, good. it's not as sweet or yeah. as... Or as... That's fake tasting. Yeah. Like it tastes like actual licorice. What you want it. I kind of just opened the whole thing. Yeah, I see that. Oh. Is it a Ooh, cut? that oh. actually smells like like fruity, not like fake Twizzler fruity. Like that it smells does. like actual. And Aussie yeah. raspberry licorice. Aussie thing. raspberry licorice twist. But yeah, that actually smells like appealing. Mm. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, it's not mm. hard. Very raspberry. Mm -hmm. really? Like that, wow. I think is some of the best fake tasting ras like fake tasting, <laughs> fake raspberry. Like, does it actually have raspberry in it? It has no artificial mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah, it has so natural raspberry natural flavor. Raspberry. Like, that is the best That's non good. like actual raspberry. Like I'm eating a fresh raspberry, but flavor that I have ever had because raspberry yeah. is very hard to find good decent raspberry yeah. flavor. Most people get it wrong because most people go way too sweet. Whereas this has that little bit of tang that raspberries have. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Very good. It's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Not going to break your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like Twizzlers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Twizzlers suck. Yeah, and again, it's not overly sweet. No. It's just a nice fruity thing. It's a nice chew. Yeah, it's a nice chew. I'd love to try their black licorice. It's probably amazing. Probably. Mm -hmm. so but yeah, it smells like fruit. It tastes like raspberries. Does that is so good. There you go. Daryl Lee. Raspberry twists. Woo! There you go. That will be dangerous. Yes. Okay. That concludes the sweet. That portion. concludes this week. Did we? Yes. Do? We did. We did everything. I think so. Yeah. We so did next that. up, we yeah. have the know. chip section, chips, I guess. Chips, I guess. Chip section. Well, well let's yeah. start with. So we break up the twisties. Or, or do you want to do the? We have these, do these original the shapes. shapes thing. Maybe we do shapes. Shapes. Do shapes. shapes first. Okay. So we have these original shapes. Original shapes. What are they? Are? I think they're crackers. They're again by Arnott's. Arnott seems to be a big Aussie thing. Mm. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the mouse pad. Oh yeah, it's got yeah, it's got, it's got echidnas, echidnas and all kinds of stuff. Yes. We, we take a break to show you this fun mouse pad covered in Aussie characters. 
So yeah, I think they're crackers. We've got pizza and what? Bar barbecue. Why is it upside down on the other side? I don't know, but yeah, barbecue and pizza. Pizza. Da -da -da. They, they also make chicken. Did we yeah, get chicken? Yeah, crispy chicken. Joker, crimpy. we don't have chicken. chicken. No, but we have chicken flavored chips. Oh, okay. which is which is new and exciting. Thing. Open other end. Lift okay. to open. Lift. Okay. There we go. Is there an exciting description? They're also made by Arnett's. There we go. There is no substitute for quality. I like that. Composition. There we go. Yeah. I like that. Instead of ingredients, composition. It's so much more formal. I like it. Biscuits. There Biscuits. We go. Biscuits. Oven baked, not fried. Flavor you can see. Let me just try Silver package. shiny package, yes. Shapes, oops. That's a good Flavor you can see. Alright, you open yours, I'll open mine. Alright. Spilling them all over the place. That smells good. That doesn't smell like pizza. Does it smell like pizza? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It smells like barbecue? Different kind of barbecue. Different kind of barbecue? Okay, well, let's start with your pizza ones. Pizza ones? Okay. We will show them what they look like. There's a couple of pizza ones. So there's different, I think there's different shapes in the package. No, nope. nope. mine are all the same. Okay, well, mine are a different shape than yours. But yeah, these are like little squished coffins. Yes. But they do have a lot of seasoning on them. Yes, yes. There is flavor, you can see! It does taste like pizza. It does taste like pizza. I just got tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the tomato sauce. That's freaky. That is kind of freaky. <laughs> A cracker that tastes like pizza. Those are good. Those aren't too bad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, lots of flavor. I've got a darker one. This guy got burned. <laughs> Yeah, those are good. They kind of have the same, like the cracker has the same taste of like a fishy cracker or like a something fishy like cracker. that. Yeah, you know, goldfish. Goldfish or cheddar. Yeah, but you can also get plain goldfish. Can you? Yeah. I didn't know that. I there's so many flavors like... of goldfish now. Is there? Yeah, there's pizza, there's second, but this is better pizza I flavor like their tag, than goldfish. Their old tagline. Yeah, the snack that smiles back. No, the one you can bite their heads off. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, that's nice pizza, pizza flavor. It tastes like pizza. Yeah. I mean, just like a cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheese pizza. Not a pepperoni. <laughs> Deluxe pizza. Yeah. I can taste the olives, the peppers. <laughs> okay. But that's a nice cracker, and they're not super salty. Like no. a lot of times, crackers here you get are super, super Lots salty. Salt. Yeah. That is nice, place. considering the amount of flavor that there is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, all right. well, those are all right. Next up, barbecue. 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 So these ones are a slightly different shape. These are ones they? are more of a hexagon. Well, I suppose. Let me see. I think. No, let me see. I feel like they're different. Hold up a pizza to the... why they would make them different shapes. To the barbecue, because you want different shapes. Oh, yeah, the chicken smaller. ones are... These ones are smaller, bigger, yeah. bigger. Bigger. Bigger, bigger versus... Yeah, and then the, the chicken crimps are like round like Ritzes. Oops. Yeah, and yeah, you can see the like herbs oh, on there. Yeah, there's little herbs. green... Oh, can't really see that way. So what there's little these? green herbs chicken? on them. Chicken. No, barbecue. 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 We don't have the chicken ones. Oh, okay. It does taste like barbecue. Slightly ketchup -y. Mm Mm-hmm. It's kind of like eating a barbecue chip, but with a bit more like ketchup in it. More ketchup in it, yeah. Which isn't bad. I suppose, but I want like barbecue. Maybe Aussie barbecue sauces are different than ours. It wouldn't surprise me. But mm. it still says barbecue. It still says barbecue, but it's more It's more tomato-y based yeah, it's barbecue more than like molasses-y. Hickory based barbecue. Mm. But again, that's okay. still a very good cracker. But yeah, if you had nice cheese with those. Hmm? Or even just on their own as snackies. Or on their own as snackies. But yeah, a nice like sharp cheddar with those. Mm hmm. Mm. Very good. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. 
This has been so those are shapes. shapes. Originals. Mm. Oh, these aren't originals. Hello. Original flavors you love. No, the original flavors you love. Shapes originals. Yeah, they're original. Pizza. Yeah, so okay. the only one we don't have is the chicken ones. We don't have chicken. But I feel like chips. they would be interesting. Yeah, we've got chicken flavored chips, which we I don't think we have any chicken flavored chips here. I don't know. Roast chicken? Somebody makes a roast chicken. There's like buffalo chicken wing. That's but then different. it's the buffalo like seasoning, not the actual chicken. Yeah. Whereas not these made from buffalo. Yeah, not made from buffalo. <laughs> Whereas these are actual twisties chicken flavored snacks. Mm. Life's pretty straight without twisties. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's great. So, yes, yeah, so we've got two kinds of twisties to try. We've got the chicken and we've got the cheese. We'll start with the chicken. 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 They've got a two star health rating. There you go. They're healthy. I don't know what that means. Are they made from potatoes? What are they made from? Uh, cereals. Oh, okay. So they're not like potato chips. Yeah, they're chip. not a potato chip. They're a cereal twist. Yeah, made chip. in Australia. There we go. They're a. Uh, Make so much noise. Ooh, ooh, that smells smell like them? chicken. Is They're it? like cheesies, kind of like shaped. Smells yeah, like sort of chicken. It smells like like chicken noodle soup. Yeah, those are like like our, cup of our chicken noodle soup. Corn twist or yeah, they're kind of like the called. corny twists. Yeah. Here, I'll grab some. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Look at these. <laughs> They're like yellow. They're not incredibly yellow though. They're oh. more like just like a yellow potato yellow. Yellower than a chicken. Yes, yellower than a chicken. <laughs> they're like chick yellow. Chick yellow. Yes. Chick yellow. Yes. Chick yellow. Chick yellow. But yeah, they're yes. like little straws. Yep. I have I'm some pretty, straws. Oh, thank you. <laughs> pretty straight without twisties. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, they smell That's nice. That's a good slogan. Though. I get chicken from that. It's like cup of soup. Chicken soup flavor. Like, maybe, you know those powdered cup of soups that you yeah, get? Yeah, but maybe a little subtler. Yeah. It's not like over your. overpowering. Hmm. Mm. Chicken. Hmm. We can call them. We can call them. It says if you have any comments, questions. We'll say, we'll call them and be like, hey, we have some of these. We're trying them in Canada. That we one like had them. more chicken. Yeah. Which makes sense. Then I got more chicken in that second one. You want another one? Those are nice, though. I, I quite like that. Yeah. It's something different. But again, it's not super salty. Nope. It's not, yeah, nice chicken. But I definitely get chicken. I get chicken. Which is weird when eating a little crispy noodle. Yeah. But I don't mind that. No, I don't mind those. Those are all right. Chicken twisties. They get a bass. There you go. Yep. Oh, sorry, this is going to be loud. Okay. Then we have the cheese twisties. Cheese. I assume they're the same shape. Probably. I don't know. Cheese flavored snacks. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try one together. Chicken, cheesy chicken. chicken. Cheesy, cheesy Ooh. chicken. Smell of cheese. Smells of Smells cheese. Smells of cheese. Smells of cheese. Mm. And yeah, they're the same shape. Ta da! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for you. Mm. Oh. Have some twisty cheese. Oh, thank you. Here they are. They're really pale, pale orange. Pale orange, yeah. Again, they're not as like fake orange, orange color as you would get here. Definite cheese. Mm hmm. Actually, that's good. Yeah, that's a nice cheese flavor. It's not mm. as fake as a lot of cheese yeah. flavors that you get here. Like, that actually tastes like. <laughs> cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I don't mind the cheesy ones either. Mm hmm. There we go. Cheesy that's chicken. That's like the best cheesy I've ever had. Okay, I got a cheesy chicken. Cheesy chicken. Yeah. Mm. Cheesy chicken. I think I like them separately better. Mm -hmm. But cheesy chicken's not bad. Yep. But yeah, those are definitely nicer than 
most of the cheesy type things that we get here. Yeah. I like it. Good snacking. Man, we ever go to Australia? Yeah. Australia is much better at snacks than we are. I think. I think. I think. Although we don't have any potato. Well, we do have one potato chip. Yeah. Don't we? We have bacon bites. There we go. Oh, they might not be potato chips. No, they might not be. So yes, our last one in this category is Nobby's Bacon Flavored Bites. The unbeatable quality and taste of Nobby's snacks has been loved for over 70 years. These succulent, crisp, bacon flavored bites make the perfect full flavored snack for any occasion. I bet they don't have a good slogan. Um, go on nibble on Nobby's. Nibble on a knob. <laughs> Making they only get a, a one a guest star. Appearance? Oh yeah, this is kitten. Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. Well, he didn't want to be on camera. No, he's camera shy. It's just Sorry, crispy kitten. bacon flavor. Nobbies. Okay. Nibble on nobbies. It <laughs> could, could be bad in some places. It could be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. No, these don't look like they're potato either. They're another mm. again. Oh, so we can't compare potato chips. Yeah. Do you have potato chips in Austria? Crisps. Crisps. Wow. <laughs> 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 Ooh, it does smell of bacon. <clears throat> oh, and it looks like bacon. It smells of bacon. It's, Look at yeah. these. Yeah. <laughs> it looks <laughs> yeah, like a little strip, strip of bacon. bacon. It's got the stripes. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, thank you. Have a bacon. Have a bacon. Would you like a bacon, wandering traveler? Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, they taste like bacon. <laughs> wow. Bacon. That's weird. <laughs> Why is that weird? Because <laughs> it tastes like bacon. Well, they taste like cheese and chicken. True. So I shouldn't expect anything less, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sour bacon? Mm hmm yeah, it's not like super smoky bacon or anything. It's more like, it's like a barbecue chip from here crossed with bacon. That's good though. Kind of. That's surprisingly I like the texture. Bacon. Uh huh. The texture's good. They're nice and like poofy. Yeah, they're poofy. Poofy! They're light and airy. Mm -hmm. These are definitely saltier than the twisties. Yeah, but bacon is salty. But bacon, yeah, is salty, so you expect that. Yeah. When you're eating bacon. Probably with beer. Have those with beer. Yeah, you have it with that nice dark beer I got you. Yes. That would be good. Yes. Yeah. Bacon and Milo? Bacon and Milo. <laughs> I don't think bacon, well, we'll try. Let's see if bacon and Milo goes together. No. It's not horrible. These are okay. But yeah, these are okay. Okay. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Is that it? No. Bacon wait. bites. Now we get the thing I've been slightly dreading. Yes, me too. But we will try. Joker sent me a little Vegemite. Proudly made in Australia since 1923. But for this, we're going to run quick and make some toast, so we will be right back. Okay. So we're back. We're back. Oh, we have sunshine. We have sunshine. Oh, yeah, I'm over there. That's weird. Close. Yeah, maybe just close the door blind. Door blind. Door blind. Door blind closed. Door blind closed. Door blind closed. Yeah, that's better. That's better. We're back. We're back. Uh, no, no, it's no, not better. No. It's not close bad. this window. <laughs> Clyde's outside like, hello, what are you doing? Hi. Kitten's like, no. That should be fine. Yeah. All right. And now we're back. Now we're back. <laughs> so. Joker gave me a quick talk down of how to eat Vegemite so that you might not hate it as much. Uh, so I've got a piece of toast. I have slathered it with margarine, which is melted because it's toast. I've got some cheese, which he said might be better if we don't like it as just straight with Vegemite. This is a lovely aged Balderson Canadian cheddar. I'm just gonna stick it up here with the chocolate for now. Uh, yeah, so I'll cut this, or here, give me the Vegemite. 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 B vitamins. Made from yeast extract. Yes. By a cheese company. By a cheese company. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. 
What does it smell like? It smells like yeast. It smells you like yeast. You could use like Vegemite and bread instead oh, of Oh, you know what yeast. it smells like? Oh. It brings back hospital memories. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, if you know what Vegemite is, it's black death goo. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, so then he said, take like the smallest bit and then oh. spread it very thinly so that you barely have any Vegemite on your toast. It looks like cinnamon toast. Now. <laughs> there you go. All right, I don't know if that's too little, too much, but that's know. what I'm going with. You can barely see it on my toast, but it's a little bit. Oh, that was kitten. Yeah, that was kitten. <laughs> it's on there. So I'm gonna cut this in half. He's in a mood. We'll try it without the cheese first. Man, if that's how much Vegemite you use, this is gonna last me till I'm a long dead. Time. I think it may be more, but maybe more. Well, we can always add more if we can't know. if we can't taste it. Yeah, All right. we'll start out subtle. With Piece of toast. Piece of toast. Thank Piece you. Piece of toast. Thank Piece you. Of toast. Here, here, oh, here it is. Yep. Toast. With a little bit of Vegemite. Can't even really smell it. It's like I'm eating salty toast. Yeah. Do you want a bit more? Maybe a bit more. A bit more? Because I can sort of taste it. Like, it definitely is yeast here. But, yeah, you get a little bit of yeast. Okay. Let's add some more. Add a little bit more. Kitten! Oh, he just wiped out a rocking horse. It's destroying Christmas. It's like, yes. Spinning. Okay. Okay, there you go. I have added a bit more. Added a bit more? Okay. A bit more. A bit more. A bit more. A bit more veggie. Okay. Well, I definitely get the yeastiness. Yeah, but if you if that's all you put on the toast, that's, that's not okay. bad. It's all right. Yeah. So yeah, we put a little bit more on. That's not bad. I don't mind that. Maybe a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit. <laughs> we're tasting the limits. Yeah, we're seeing where we get to too when much. we just Ooh, say that's no, much. that's too much. So too much. Too much. We can spread it all over. Okay. And then we can always add the cheese. And then we can add the cheese. Then we'll if try we it get with to the, the point yeah. with getting too much. Yeah. Good, good idea. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, hey, hey, that's my piece. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. Again? But definitely with the margarine under there, with the creaminess of the margarine, that does help. Yes. Yeah. I, I wouldn't would... want to just have straight. No. I definitely get it more now. Yeah, now it's getting too strong. Mm hmm We've hit the point. This yeah. is too much. Too much. Too much. It's still not horrible, though. I wouldn't want to go past that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go past it, because now I can taste it. Like, it's definitely but there it's in the forefront. Tiny. Very it's tiny. very tiny. That would be good in, like, a sandwich. I think so. Mm-hmm. Kind of sandwich. Oh, put some lettuce, tomato, bacon. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Except minus the tomato. Yeah, you minus the tomato, <laughs> but I think it would go really good with the bacon. Mm. Oh! Bacon! <laughs> Bacon crisp! <laughs> Bacon crisp! I'll let you do that. Yeah, just gonna have to put the bacon in your mouth. Take it by your toast. But I think with like fresh lettuce and stuff, that would also help with this, the salty because it's probably very good. salty. Yeah, see? So I told it goes you. good with bacon. But yeah, you can also make like it's an egg. Good with bacon. Like a, an egg, like breakfast BLT. Mm. Bacon, egg, lettuce, yeah. tomato. That would be good. Yes, it goes good with bacon. Yes, this will be going in. So get your bacon. nobbies. Yeah, get your nobbies <laughs> and your Vegemite. And your Vegemite and your toast. And here, let's try it with a bit of cheese. With cheese. Got some cheese? Sure, I'll have cheese. some cheese. Thank you very much. Lovely cheddar cheese. It goes good with bacon. Mm hmm. I, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, no, it's definitely better. But if you went wild with it, yeah, if you just it spread like it on jam, like jam, it would be horrible. It would be awful. I can see why people who do that end up hating it. Mm. So I'm definitely glad. Thanks for the tip, Joker, because mm. well, this this aged cheddar definitely overpowers the yes, Vegemite. Yeah, you can't. Can't even it. taste the Vegemite anymore. But it's a lovely cheddar. It is very nice. Oh cheddar. no, there I got a bit of yeasty. So it's quite good with cheese as well. But yeah, in a sandwich, mm -hmm. as just like a fun little salty bit of tangness yeah. to it, that would be nice. Good. I have found a use for my Vegemite. 
Maybe well, it won't last me till I'm dead. Tried Benjamin. Yeah. Um, cause I, I did have an Aussie exchange teacher in grade three, but she, like she brought Vegemite and told us about it, but we never got to try it. Oh. Cause she didn't know if we'd like it. That's cool. So. Mm hmm But yeah. Hmm. In moderation. In moderation. I think that's the key. Mm hmm Yep. Definitely. Hmm. So it should come with a warning label. Oops. <laughs> to come with a warning label. Yeah, or a how to eat. Do not overuse. Yeah. yeah, do not pretend this is Nutella. I can see why then it comes in such little jars. This <laughs> last <laughs> Yeah. You imagine if you got like a giant jar of this, you could pass it down. Yeah. Jar. This was my <laughs> great great grandfather's <laughs> jar of Vegemite. Yeah, you put it in your will. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you, nephew, inherit by jar of Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely better than I thought it was. Look at it, apparently it has B1, Lots B2, of, and B3 well, vitamins. Yeah. yeah. Brain function, nervous system, energy release. Start happy with Vegemite. There you go. Yeah. Well. There you go. Yeah, it's better than I thought it would be. It is. But definitely but the definitely, moderation is yeah. key. So if you're gonna eat Vegemite, moderation is key. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. I think I still like peanut butter better. But... Well, yeah, you wouldn't use it in the same context as peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly, Vegemite and jelly sandwich. <laughs> that would be gross. That would be gross. <laughs> Well, okay, it, went good, it went good with bacon. It did go good with bacon. Yeah, well, I'll have to try, try making. Well, I didn't try it with bacon, um, but I'll definitely have to try making like a, a lettuce, lettuce, tomato, bacon sandwich. And Vegemite. Vegemite. There you go. Could be the new thing. All right. Well, thank you, That's thank it. you, Joker, for all of this amazing yes, fun stuff. This much. has been a lot of fun trying it all. Mm. We're gonna to maybe take if the weather improves and isn't stinking cold outside. Well, let me take this outside, give it a, a whirl, yeah. see if we can get it to actually come back to us. It's supposed to, but it probably won't, because I'll probably do it wrong. It's got instructions. Guaranteed to return if thrown correctly. That's the key. Grip, stand, and throw. Yeah, I, that's I, the directions. You can do that with anything. Grip, stand, and throw. You can do that with a baseball. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. come back. So yeah, so we'll, we'll see if we can test this out. Um, it might have to wait till summer. We'll see. Oh. Or I might accidentally. It's yeah, it's not oh, windy. It's a little bit windy. It's a little bit windy. We've also been having really windy weather, so I probably can't throw it in incredibly windy weather. But we'll test it out at some point. Yeah, I'm excited for that as well. Yep. But yeah, this has been fun. This has been great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Joker. Yep. Um, thank you very I am. Much. Yeah. You watch will be getting kangaroos. some. Yeah, watch out for in kangaroos in your daily drives in Australia. Yep. I don't have to worry about that. No. No. We just gotta watch out for moose, deer. deer. Porcupines, skunks, skunks, skunks porcupines, gophers in the summer. Gophers, coyotes. Coyotes, yeah. Woo! Nope. <laughs> so yes, and Joker, you will be getting a package of Canadian things to try. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks there for tuning go. in, everybody. Thank this you. has been fun and tasty yes. and Thank you. wonderful. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you for joining me, Rambi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye! Bye. Happy Christmas. <laughs>